We met at the airport at about 8.30 a.m. Then we drove over seven hours to Saru village. This village is located about 45 kilometers west of Karakol and about just over 400 kilometers east of Bishkek. The driver dropped us on the fields at the washboard road to mountains. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm too quick for you. When do you think you will need him? At 20, it's three weeks, so like 23rd of, of, of August. Через три недели. <laughs> At about 4.30 p.m., after a short preparation, we set out our ride. Started our <laughs> journey to Juku Pass. <laughs> Unbelievable for me. <laughs> I'm riding with James. <laughs> Hayden. <laughs> so the driver dropped us just above the village, Saru village, and we slowly started our ride. Very slowly, we don't know this way. Fully loaded. <laughs> so, but I'm sure we'll have a nice evening with, wherever we camp. Yeah. Being involved in competitive bikepacking events in Kyrgyzstan has given me the bonus of bikepacking with ultra-distance champions. This not only includes competing with them during races, but also riding with them overnights in touring mood. We have made it seven kilometers. It's amazing to see the snow on the mountain. My first such ride was back in 2019 when I was preparing for my first Silk Road Martin race. In that year, I asked Lyle Wilcox and Rue if I could join their scouting ride up to Kegeti Pass. We camped in the lower valley and conquered the pass the next day. That ride was particularly motivating as both ladies were strong and fast. Twenty twenty two, just before the start of my third race, James offered me the amazing opportunity to join his acclimatization at Jeepteak Pass in southern Kyrgyzstan. I was absolutely fascinated by his offer. Unfortunately, I was unable to join him there. Our first river crossing actually. And we got our water resupply here for camping. In 2023, James wrote to me about his plan to spend some time at Juku Pass in the area of Isiku Lake before the next edition of the race. This time I couldn't miss the opportunity to join him on the ride.
Since 2019, I have been obsessed with participating in the ultra-distance bikepacking race that takes place in Kyrgyzstan. I took part in three races in 2019, 2021, and 2022. I didn't want to stop, but at the same time, I couldn't dedicate and afford as much time and resources as I needed to the race and preparation. The Juku Pass is the most challenging pass of several editions of the race, and it is also the first and most challenging climb of a popular route that traverses the Kyrgyz mountains. The Juku Valley is the longest valley in the area, and maybe one of the last valleys that has not been heavily impacted by mass tourism. It is full of forests and streams, and the ride is long but not as hard except for the last few hundred meters before reaching the pass. We are continuing climbing the Jukut Gorge up to <laughs> Tough road. Up to Jukut Pass, and we uh, so, so our sort of goal for today is to to reach the lower lake. It's a nice place. I'll be happy if we be there. Yeah. The night was good. Calm, no wind, no rain, and we had pleasure evening yesterday. It was good. And the ver the valley is gorgeous. Yeah. I never looked back last year riding <laughs> downhill. So now I can see all of this beauty. Plenty of time to enjoy.
that he lost a cab. He left it at the spot where we had lunch. So he decided to leave his luggage here with me, go to that place we had lunch and look for the cab. Uh, so I ho hopefully he will find it. He needs his bottles for the race. This trip with James was the first time that I was able to experience myself outside of the competitive bikepacking context. Before that, all my travels were either related to the race itself or in preparation for it. James came to Kyrgyzstan to compete in the race and his trip to Juku Pass was part of his job, but I, on my part, enjoyed being just a tourist thinking about personal things, about my plans, watching James rolling the bike and preparing myself for the big trip ahead in August, for the first time as a bikepacking tour guide. We weren't rushing anywhere. We had plenty of time and our goals weren't tied to results. Two days with James was my cherished goal, whether I would make it to the big lake at Juku Pass or not. James kept my pace and I was happy with the ride. Look better? Yes, it looks nice. <laughs> shooting video so shooting video <laughs> like here you can see uh, the glacier just behind the, the rock Oh, oh, oh.